Welcome back now, 653. It's going to take you longer to cross the border at the port of entry in Douglas because construction there begins today. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says seven inspection booths, two commercial truck booths, and the port's cargo dock and exit booths are being replaced. CBP also says a pedestrian turnstile will be installed with a handicap entrance. To check wait times, you can download the Border Wait Time app or check our website, kgun9.com. Well, the cause of a fire at a vacant motel near I-10 and 6th Avenue is under investigation this morning. Fire crews were called to that area last night. Tucson Fire assisted South Tucson Fire in putting out those flames. Meantime, at least two vehicles were involved in a crash at about 6 o'clock last night near Camino de Oeste and Gates Pass Road. The Northwest Fire District says there were injuries, but we do not know how many people were involved or their condition this morning. A warning this morning from the Pima County Sheriff's Department. Scammers are targeting victims by posing as employees from their department. Deputies tell KGUN scammers are calling their victims and posing as deputies. Those scammers are then using scare tactics to convince them to send money. Now, if you think you're being scammed, contact PCSD. Tucson police continue to investigate an officer-involved shooting that happened on the northwest side on Saturday. Police say the suspect, 42-year-old Victor Parsons, barricaded himself in his apartment along with 36-year-old Samantha Boyd. TPD says Parsons fired several rounds inside the home and didn't come out for eight hours. When he finally did, officers report he came out with a shotgun in his hand. Investigators say an officer shot Parsons and he died at the scene. They later found Boyd dead inside the home as well. Well, you can expect the Colorado River to be flowing again starting tomorrow after weeks of repairs on the Central Arizona Project Canal. The Arizona Republic says the repairs were done to the canal where it tunnels under the Salt River in Mesa. CAP General Manager, that's Ted Cook, he plans for, he said plans for the repairs took about three years so that all those customers affected could get ready. A band teacher in charge of close to 75 students in the Santa Cruz Unified School District is embracing a more modern way of teaching, all in hopes of reaching the younger generation. That's right. None on your sides. Veronica Acosta joining us now to tell us all about Mrs. Leaf and her mission to make sure her students are practicing every note she teaches. Hey, Veronica, good morning. Hey, good morning, Mark Whitney. Well, her name is Kelsey Leaf. She's a fifth grade band teacher, and she's recording her music lessons to post on YouTube. So this is what that looks like for her. If you type in Kelsey Leaf into YouTube, you're going to come across all of these videos. Now, Mrs. Leaf started making the videos back in October. She's now made close to 100 of them. And in the videos, she talks about proper hand placement on multiple instruments. She walks her th students, rather, through each of the movements and, of course, the songs. Now, Mrs. Leaf said she started making these videos because she doesn't get a whole lot of time to teach her students face-to-face. -face, and this is definitely something that they tune into. She said she's seen a lot of improvement and hope this continues. We're in the newsroom this morning. Veronica Costa, Kega 9, on your side. All right, great story, right? Yeah. April's here with a look outside. A cold one, April. Oh, it is chilly out there. It's been a while since we've hit the 30s to start the day, and that's actually going to go down before it goes up. We're at 37 now, both on the east side and at the airport. We've got clear skies, just a little bit of cloud cover hugging the Catalinas and the Rincons this morning. Actually made for a gorgeous sunrise. As the sun goes up, though, I do anticipate those numbers going down. We are expecting to start the day freezing tomorrow. That freeze warning until 9 a.m. Tuesday will look like possibly the weekend before we really start to warm back up.